here we have a really interesting probability problem. We have a 12 resistors, three are defective. We are told that four we want to select, and they want to know what the probability of no defective, one defective, and three. And the answer is over here. So let's take a look at how we're going to solve this. The easiest way and the quickest way um, is to have a table. Let's set it up. Okay. So number of defectives. Let's write it defective. I have uh, three resistors. Okay, that's defective. Let's keep on writing it. That's non-defective. I have nine. That's non-defective. Okay, so overall total the resistor. Let's make a wall over here. So total, I have twelve resistors over here. Okay, so our case one, we want zero defective. zero defective. So um, after zero defective here, then I want to choose zero from here. Okay, Since it's a zero defective, I want all four of them choosing out here. Okay, And then total I choose four. So each one of the cases has a number of ways I can choose. Okay, So combine those two, I have um, three choosing zero ways to choose this one. I have nine, choose four possible ways to choose the resistor. And then I have 12, choose four for this one. So probability for the case one is using probability of one is nine choosing of four over 12 choose of four. Okay, once again, since I want a zero defective, I got to choose all, all four of the resistors from the non-defective one. So I have nine choosing four method ways to choose. And out of the 12 altogether, I have 12 choose four. So if you push this one into your punching into your calculator, you'll have a 14 over 55 probability. Okay. Let's go on to the next case. draw a line over here. Okay. Next case, uh, this one, case two, I want to have one, only one defective. Okay. So I need a one resistor from the defective, and I need a three good ones. Okay, one bad ones. One bad resistor, because overall I'm still choosing four. So um, I'm still choosing 4 out of 12, and the number of ways I have is 12 choose 4. Total doesn't change. Now over here I changed a little bit. Since I have three bad ones, I can choose 1. Okay, That's the chance of uh, choosing bad one. And I have to, since it's a two-step process, and I have to choose uh, th from, from the 9, I have to choose three good ones. So the probability for this case, then it's 3 choosing 1 times 9 choosing 3. So let's calculate the case 2 probability. Let's push the paper up a little bit so you can see. So the probability is 3 choose 1 times 9 choose 3 divided by 12 choose 4. Writing the probability form on top, I would have three prob uh, factorial, two factorial, one factorial. That's the first one. Okay. Second one, I would have nine factorial, six factorial, three factorial. The whole thing divided by 12 choose 4. And if you calculated this one, this is a 3. Calculate this one out you should have 28 out of 55 chips. Okay, And then now let's try to take a look at the last one. Blank piece of paper here. Let's get it started. So basically what we're going to start is uh, last one I want a 3 defective. Defective. 
out of uh, three that's possible. Okay, that's step one. And I need to have one good one. One good out of nine divided by uh, choosing four out of 12. Okay. So that's putting in a probability form. So three out of three, three choosing three times nine from nine choose one, 12 choose four. Okay. That's writing in a combination form. So three, three times nine, one, and 12, four. So that's equal to 3 factorial over 3 factorial, 0 factorial. That's the 3, 3, 9, 8, and 1. That's divided by 12, 4, and 8. Now if you finish this one, you'll have 1 over 55 is the probability. All right, hope this helps. Have a confident day.